They would write in C Sharp with a fake runtime library, and then they would transpile it to JavaScript. What if instead we thought about what is it that's broken about JavaScript, and is there a way we can fix that? This will never work. If it would work, there's already this thing, CoffeeScript, and besides, JavaScript programmers don't want types, so we'll give you half a PM. It had to be open source, but there was a lot of hostility in the web community towards Microsoft. The target was Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates arriving for a meeting with community leaders. As an outsider, you would see an open source project for Microsoft and think to yourself, if I look at this, am I going to get sued or something like that? Microsoft was the evil empire. Embrace, extend, extinguish kind of the motto. I took one look at it and I said, like, that's the thing I wanted, like, literally yesterday. Yeah, at the time, I would have looked at it and said, I don't think that JavaScript needs types. I'm solving a problem. That problem wouldn't exist if you're using TypeScript. It was sort of saying, oh, we're going to have typings for 40 libraries. And within a year, there was hundreds. The TypeScript team itself participates in TC39 to help guide the direction of JavaScript. Should we go ahead and, and build a thing that sort of diverges a little bit? Should we try and wait? The Angular team said, yes, we're going to do TypeScript. But also, we need to convince Google. How about we join forces? Angular alienated part of the community. That gave a boost to React. There was like two viable options, either Flow or TypeScript. Flow had React, but TypeScript had VS Code. People try out VS Code and then they get sold on using TypeScript. I think without TypeScript there will be no VS Code. <laughs> <laughs> now TypeScript has reached such a pinnacle that people say, oh, we integrate with TypeScript. A lot of people come to Dino for this reason. It has TypeScript built into it. Wherever you find JavaScript or a JavaScript framework, you're going to find TypeScript. Solid, almost from when it, when it was first open source, has been built on TypeScript. 40% of WebStorm users is uh, actively editing TypeScript files. Slack is using TypeScript. Netflix is using TypeScript. Everybody's using TypeScript. I think all of those different actions kind of laid a foundation that made it acceptable for Microsoft to be the buyer of GitHub.